Well, I'll start with welcome to Chicago, because I know we have people here from Tokyo and Indianapolis and, uh, and other places, and people have traveled to be here, and I, I really appreciate that. We all appreciate it. Um, welcome, if you're from Chicago, welcome to Lincoln Yards. Uh, you might have had a, you, maybe you didn't find this easily on Google Maps, you know, you put in the address because this is all brand new, right? This is uh, the first, it yeah, it doesn't have it yet, no. This is the first building of a 40-acre development here in the middle of Chicago. Um, this, is the, this is the first one, so welcome to Lincoln Yards. Welcome to Web3 Investor Day. This is our second annual event, and uh, we're really excited. Um, so I'm thanking everybody for coming. I'm thanking the, the great team at Decasonic of Grace and Lauren and Danny and Sarah, who worked so hard to put this together. Keith from Bridge Alternatives on our team. Um, I thank my, uh, my friend and colleague, Paul, uh, who really dro drives the show. So I want to thank those. I also want to thank the sponsors. Um, you'll know one sponsor, obviously, is Sterling Bay. Um, Sterling Bay uh, is built this building, and their next building, because I've seen the master plan, is the tech building. And so um, that's a whole idea. To This is the life sciences building. There'll be a tech building. They have a Live Nation event space going in there, a TED Talk amphitheater. So this is just the beginning of this uh, you know, development of a generation, really, here in Chicago. So, so welcome to Lincoln Yards. Um, and Lincoln Park, even if, if you're from Chicago. Welcome to Web3 Investor Day. Um, our sponsor, Sterling Bay, um, NASDAQ is here. Um, NASDAQ has been involved in providing technology for digital assets exchanges since uh, 2015. And uh, there might have been some confusing announcements yesterday, but NASDAQ is in the business. And if anybody has questions, Dan Kerrigan is sitting in the back and he's happy to talk about it. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe not, you know, maybe he's not going to go on the media, but if you have any questions about NASDAQ's involvement in digital assets, Dan is here. Um, Croke Fairchild, uh, Mike Frisch and the team from Croke Fairchild are a, a great team, and they're a sponsor in Impact Partners, the, uh, the PR uh, sponsor for, for the event. And uh, although not a sponsor, I want to thank the Near Protocol people. They really did help organize a lot of the uh, products uh, demos that you're going to see here today. So uh, a big round of applause for all of our sponsors, please. I'm now, I want to bring up uh, Rosemary Miller. Uh, Rosemary is going to be the MC for the day. We're very lucky. Uh, she is a broadcaster and journalist for Forbes covering finance and Web3. And uh, she's going to be handling our M MC duties here today. <laughs> so the themes, there's a mic here there. The themes for, I just want to kind of prompt you with some ideas as we start the day, right? The things that we think about here are, I have my notes, mm -hmm. uh, fresh perspectives, proof of innovation, and the evolving Web3 landscape. When I say fresh perspectives, I, I think you could take a perspective right now that the bear market is cleansing. We are focused on product market fit. We're focused on solutions. We're not all staring at our phone, looking at the price. <laughs> and so the bear market is a good thing for us. You know, what do you guys see from Forbes? Well, for starters, good morning, everybody. <laughs> You're fine. How y'all feeling? All right, how, how y'all feeling? Come on now. All right, thank you, thank you. Well, okay, you're right. Everybody was in the Web3 space. I built a get rich quick, but I want each of you to look to your left, look to your right. These are the people who truly believe in the potential of this technology. That's where we're headed. I, yeah. That is awesome. Uh, the other idea we want to talk about is proof of innovation. We saw the announcement from Google, including NFTs. Um, one of the ones I really like, I had dinner the other night with Adam Jackson from Brain Trust, and they have successfully built a user-owned talent network that is this year going to do $100 million in gross revenue. Like, and that is on a blockchain-based solution for a user-owned network. I mean, these are real proof of innovations that are happening now. It's interesting that you said the Google NFTs because what I'm seeing a lot of is companies, they're still in the Web3 space, but they actually 
aren't using those clickbait terms like NFTs, uh, metaverse. When was the last time we heard metaverse? <laughs> so, you know, yeah, that's where we're headed. That's excellent, excellent. And the other theme would be, as you listen today, the evolving Web3 landscape. The thing that jumps to me is you don't see a pitch book anymore that does not include AI. Right? And that might be fluffy, but it also is kind of real. There's going to be a convergence of AI and blockchain tech, and we're seeing that with, with some really great ideas. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, as we've mentioned, kind of got out of the Web3 space, but Web3 is inevitable. How do you actually get out of Web3, jump into AI, when AI will ultimately just be a part of Web3? So why not just stay in the mix? and the next thing I'm seeing with AI is, um, I don't know if you guys have been watching the news lately, but things like ChatGPT, they're kind of slowing down. So people are really starting to look more into that technology unless it just, once again, those clickbait trendy terms. All righty, so those are just some ideas for the day. I wanted you to meet Rosemary, and now I want to call up Paul Sue. Paul is the CEO and founder of Decasonic. He's really the driving force behind this event, and uh, he has some comments, and he's going to host the, uh, the, the moderate the first panel.